Uh, Milos, welcome back to Brisbane. What's it like coming back, starting a season as the defending champion? No, oh, it's a pretty special thing, and that obviously that recalls great memories for he me here. Uh, obviously, last year, the year before as well, and obviously led to the best season I've had today. And hopefully, I can really build off that and continue and really make the progress I'm looking for. In the off season, you parted ways with Carlos Moyer and brought on board Richard Krajicek. Was part of that decision because you know he's a big guy, big serve, similar kind of game in a way to, to yours? Yeah, and also uh, the intentions, the intentions of what he believes I need to do with my game to take the next step forward, especially against the top guys in the world. Uh, the fact that we're looking for a bit more aggression, a bit more progress forward to the net to really keep the guys off balance and take it to the matches and the situations to them. When you talk about coming more to the net, are we talking about serve volleying or maybe during a point, just working your way? No, different, both aspects. I think it's about really keeping those those varieties in my game so that I can make that decision when it feels right, that I have that comfort at the net. that whether it be during the point or it can be right away from the start of the point that I'm looking to come forward. Yeah. You finished 2016 at the HP World Tour Finals, uh, pushing Djokovic to 7-6, 7-6. You had a match point on defending on uh, Murray, who went on to finish the world, year, world number one. What can you do in, in uh, 2017? Can you challenge for the number one ranking? I hope so. That's the goal. It's about going out there every single week, trying to give myself not only physically but also mentally the best possibility to win, to be fresh, to be able to compete against these guys in the biggest events. And obviously they have a consistency that's been unmatched over the past few seasons. Hopefully I can step up and show that consistency as well. One thing you really seemed to do last year was improve off the ground and even the statistics show that out where in 2015 you only won 12% of return games, last year you won 18%. You must have really worked hard on your ground strokes and returns. Yeah, it, it is and it's uh, been a big aspect of attention for me and of hard work. It's something that I've put a lot of time and focus into and I feel like I'm making constant progress there. I know it's going to be something that can get much better and continue to get better, but I feel like I'm on the right track and that's the most important thing. Can you talk about your off-season a little bit? Uh, where did you train? Who were your practice partners? Yeah, well, spent uh, three, three and a half weeks training in Monte Carlo. Uh, spent it there. There were many players there, based there. Novak was there. Seppi was there. Uh, there was many top players within the top 150 that were placed there throughout those few weeks. So the competition, the practice partners, and the quality of practice was unparalleled and some of the best practice I've had, and hopefully it's going to show right away in the first tournament of the year. And away from the courts, what was the most fun you had during the off-season? I think it was about really getting to, after such a long season, finishing the season so late, having those that period of time to be with family and friends. I think that sort of resets me and puts me back, gives me humility and really gives me a lot to appreciate and look forward to in the next season.